What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, our 2021 summer vacation starts right now. What you got, Luke? I got some money so I could buy something there. Let me see, open it up. Oh my, that's like a treasure look, chest. Look at that one, the gold one. You got gold? Did you get that from pirates? Are you ready to make this long drive? Yes. More what about you? I'm ready. All right, so we are ready to go. We've got about a five hour ride. Got our Suzuki ready. Got my hooker electric, some of my smaller favorite spinning rods, a bigger grouper rod, our mags custom rods, and of course our old salties, some bicycles, pinfish traps, swordfish harpoon, all of our spear guns, most importantly, the bimini top. Anytime you're in the Keys, if you don't have a T-top, you need to bring a bimini top because it gets crazy hot down there. We've got more rods, all of our scuba gear, some juice boxes, our cooler, and a new freezer. So when we get down there, we can vacuum seal all of our fish and freeze it immediately. Now, Kelly isn't coming right this second because we just took on a new cooler sponsor company and they sent us a bunch of coolers that we need for the trip and they said there's something special in the box so she's got to wait for it she's already seen it she said it made her cry so i'm super excited to see it she's going to bring it down i think in a day and a half so she'll meet us down there right now we're jumping in the truck we gotta take i-95 to the turnpike in jupiter got a four hour ride down to florida city about three and a half then we get on us1 and go all the way to cujo but there's a bunch of amazing things to see along the way and i'm taking y'all with us seat belt up boys you got your seatbelt on Babe. Our first trip to the Keys together and I've been going together. <laughs> you get two days of peace though. I do. I'm actually, <laughs> you were packing this morning. I'm just like, go, just, just go, just go. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. All right, y'all. Let's get this party started. All right, y'all. This video is sponsored by Cove Audio. They came out with one of the coolest speakers ever for the outdoors in your house, wherever you want to use it. It actually splits in half. So it's super easy to use. Turn each side on individually. Open up your phone, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, look for Cove 179S, click on that, and now you're connected. Now, if you're wondering if it's clear, I'm gonna let you see for yourself. Let's let the speaker do the rest of the talking. So the coolest advantage of it being a split speaker is Kelly can take one with her over there on her hammock and I can keep one here or over at my boat. We share the music, yet the speaker is right next to each one of us. So it's just as clear as if we were sitting side by side and there was only one. Now. That's a pretty cool feature. I would love to play music for you guys, but as you already know, we can't play copyrighted music on YouTube. This speaker comes with a split USB, so you can actually charge them both at the same time. You can keep it together or you can split them. If you're on the boat with your friends, you can put one up front and one out back. Another really cool thing about this speaker, right now we have gator season coming up and we're gonna do lots of gator hunting. Y'all watch this little short clip of us gator hunting the other day, and we're using this speaker to call one in. So Chris just placed the speaker right there, and watch what happens. Look at the tip of my rod right there in the corner. See the gator coming wide open. He's swimming as fast as he can come right here. He is. He's so fast. I promise you, you get one of these and you won't regret it. Kelly and I love listening to music when we're on the boat. It's crazy affordable too. It's also got little subwoofers on each side. It's not 100% waterproof, but it is water resistant. So go to the description below this video and check out the link for Cove Audio. I promise you won't be disappointed. All right, so we're down here. We're in the very north end of the Keys though in the Isla Mirada area, not far from Nick Stanzik. We had to stop though and show you all this monster lobster. Luke, how's the car ride going? Uh, not so good? Y'all meet Laura? Tyler. Tyler. 
So Laura and her husband Tom are our neighbors. You've seen Tyler in my videos before. We just met up with them and we will be staying with them after this coming Saturday. So for the first three days, we're staying with my good friend, Mike Worley, and then we're staying with them in another place. Look at Rico. Where'd you just come from? There's Rico's daughter and his son. We got the whole team here. Making a video? Yeah. Hi, subscribe. That's right. Why don't Mike, why don't y'all ever tell the fans to subscribe? <laughs> Luke, you want to get up there and ride that thing? Uh, I don't think you can touch it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna spend some time here at this giant lobster. I wanna start this video out though, if you're coming down into the Keys, the lobster this year, and you have kids, or you're not very familiar with lobstering, I'm gonna put a video in the link below of a how-to lobster video I did two years ago, right when I started doing YouTube. It is extremely helpful, and if you watch it, I promise you, you will come out of it knowing more than you did before you watched it. So check the link in the description below for my how-to lobster video. Holy mackerel, that thing's big. What you got? But are you ready for vacation? I'm so ready. Oh my goodness. You know Luke's gotta buy something. You need a sword for pirates? Y'all wanna have a sword fight? Yeah. Dad, you want to buy one? All right, let's do some shopping. Next stop, Robbie's. Pilgrims. Luke, did you get you a bucket? How, do, how about having Mr. Tom hold your treasure chest? <laughs> and just like that, we're here at Robbie's where you hand feed the tarpon. Now, I personally had rather go to Bud Mary's Marina because it's a little bit more low key, but this place is no joke. They've got the fish. We've got to go through these little holes. Wow! Yeah, I better not stick my GoPro through there. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's enough for me. Time for the kids. Come on, Luke, let's see what you got. Go, farther, lean down. Oh, good job. Come on, Tom. You're ex-military. Let's see what you got. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the camera right. Go ahead. Dylan's hand. <laughs> Look at Dylan's hand. Dylan, you got bit? Let me see. Oh no. So tarpon don't have teeth like a barracuda or a shark or a snapper. They have like sandpaper teeth. And that's what they do to you. Did you see Luke try to chase the pelican off and he dumped fish juice all down his... He's riding with you the rest of the ride. Just for Kelly Young, because if she was here, she would do this. Open up. That was for Kelly Young. Check her out on YouTube, Kelly Young. Like and subscribe, okay? You got that? All right, so as we were walking out to the truck, one of our young fans, Mason, was out here, and his dad said, look at his arm. He got bit, y'all. Did it hurt? Yeah. Was it fun, though? Yeah. Was it worth it? All right, so we're gonna snap some pics and keep heading south. And would y'all look at that. We're here. We're at the dead end of Blimp Road. I think it's either Cujo or Summerlin. I'm not sure. And that's why they call it Blimp Road. They send them up to get some kind of weather data. Luke, are you already exploring? Wait, there's a crab. All right, get in. Right over there is Mike Worley. This is the Gulf. See that boat going that away? That's how you get out to the ocean. So our house is over there about three miles. This is the closest boat ramp though, so we're gonna put it in here. Mike's wife's gonna jump in my truck and drive it around. It's everything I can do though, not to go deep dropping tonight. So I might, y'all might get to go deep dropping in this video, I'm not sure yet. We are gonna do something fun though, and y'all are tagging along. So the last time you saw us, we were about 12 miles that away in the Gulf. We came all the way out here into the ocean. And now we're gonna set some pinfish traps for snapper fishing over the next couple days. We've got a bunch of sardines in there, a bunch of sardines in here. I'm gonna use my GPS, and as I see where I wanna put them, I'll hit mark, and Jake will throw it in. Go. 
I've made up my mind. We're gonna go try to deep drop. So we'll see y'all 20 miles offshore. Right there, fish on, fish on. Got a fish on. Get him, Jake. Keep that rod there. Keep that rod there. Dad, which rod are you bringing up for me? Come on, he come on. Put it back in the rod holder. Put it back in the rod holder. Fish off, fish off. Oh, leave it on. Fish on, fish on. Come on, Luke. Start reeling, Jake. Reel. Luke, come here. Come here, Luke. Back here. We got to open on. Get back in, sit down, I need you on your butt. Right on your butt. Right here, real, right here. Oh no, you guys, we're going deep dropping. Jake, take that clicker off. We're going deep dropping and we've got Dolphin on. You got him coming, son, you got him coming. Look at real. I don't know which one to help first, guys. Me, Uh-oh, here comes Jake's. Lukey, just keep yours right there. Swing him over here. Point your rod off, I missed him with the gaff. Keep going, look. It's so hard. Daddy. Oh, look at the dolphin around the boat. I can't gaff this fish. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I gotta help Luke. Jake, get, bear hug him, get your hook off. Put right. that rod in the rod order. I got it, you get the fish. Here he comes, Luke. Here he comes, Luke. Oh no, he jumped out. Get him, Luke. Get we gotta get him in the cooler. Get me the water. You guys, you just seen me do it. Can I see him? One dad, two young boys, and we got dolphin for dinner. Put him in here, quick. Put him in there. As soon as we put the jerk bait on, we caught one. Look at all the mahi chasing him up. Look. All right, hold on. Get up, Luke. Come back here. Get back here. Come here, Luke. Let me see if I can't gaff him this time. You want me to gaff him? No, you're holding the camera. You're the official cameraman. Dad, yeah. All right, Luke. You got to step back a little. You guys, we haven't been in the Keys two hours. And we got dinner. Dinner. That's amazing. That's the biggest mahi. All right, Jake, pick that jerk bait up and go to work. Whoa! Son! Oh, look at the nice dolphin right there. Oh, he come oh. off. Make a long cast straight out there. Long cast. Perfect. Now point your rod down and just nice and easy jerk it. Real faster, real faster. Faster. Got him. Got him. Good job. I looked at my fish. What about it? But my fish was bigger than Jake. You think I'll get him with the gaff? Hopefully. Kelly needs to be here with her spear gun. All right, quit horsing him, just nice and easy. Get his head up out of the water. Got him. Got him. Got all right, that's all the dolphin we need. Look at that little pin fishing jerk bait right in his mouth. All right, so we just got in. About a, look, there's deer meat for dinner, it looks like. Is that him? Yeah, it might be Robert. That looks an awful lot like deer meat for dinner right there. Hey, let me hear your yeet. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way that's Robert Wright coming. We just came in. Where's the Ari and Emma? Ari and Emma's at our house over here. Well, we got down real late. We ran out, the boys caught a bunch of dolphins, so. We could have smashed the dolphin, but we were determined to catch a swordfish, which we didn't do. I stuck the gaff right there in my hand and thought I was going to bleed to death. Well, why'd you do that? I didn't mean to do that. What's up, Wyatt? So we're not quite back to the house yet, but a lot of people tell me sometimes I can be too hard on my kids. Now I just took an 11 year old and a six year old 
almost 20 miles offshore in really pretty rough conditions for a bay boat. And look what they're doing. You haven't had enough of fishing yet? Not yet. Lou, are you fishing? No, he won't wet me. He won't wet you? He won't wet me. Use hey, did you have fun out there today? Dad, can I use one of those rods? Son, if he does hook something in here, it's going to be a huge tarpon and it's going to hurt his feelings anyways. And he's going to let me fish? Yep. All right, boys, hold your catch up. Hold it up, Luke. Hold it up. Who's is bigger? Oh, let me see. Oh, typical boy fashion. Let's just call them the same size. All right, we're back to the house. We're going to clean these fish tomorrow. We're not cooking them in this video. This was just a vlog style video. Y'all have already seen our entire day. We need to wash the boat. We're gonna put those fish on ice. I'm getting up there in the air conditioner, eating some spaghetti and just relaxing. We will see y'all in the next one. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. That way when I upload, you get to see it first. You get to see it as soon as it comes out. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get the heck out of what? Get the heck out of shape.